Hey, what is going on, Nightmares? Chris the Nightmare here. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top five things you need to do at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Now, it's very hard for me to narrow this down to just five things. Maybe we'll do a top ten later down the road if you guys want. But these are my top five things that I think you should do when you're at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These are must-haves, at least for me. But uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. But before we get into the video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And without further ado, let's check out what to do in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All right, guys, coming in at number five, and that's going to be the Hogwarts Express. Now, you do need a park-to-park -park ticket to ride the Express from Universal Studios into Islands of Adventure, but this is a experience that any Witcher wizard must do when they're at the Wizarding World. And, uh, you know, you go from King's Cross Station, you go into the platform nine and three quarters, but when you see the Hogwarts Express, when you see her there, you know, with the smoke coming out and just seeing the just beauty of the Hogwarts Express is an experience that you don't want to miss, especially if you're a big Harry Potter fan. Any Witcher wizard needs to ride the Hogwarts Express. Now, it does take you, you know, like I said, from Universal Studios into Islands of Adventure, which would be King's Cross Station, Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and it takes you all the way into Hogsmeade, and you do need to pass the pass, but it is an experience that you don't want to miss. And, uh, you know, there's also a little show that you watch as you're riding the train as well. So definitely number five on the list and uh let's go on to number four all right guys going into number four we got the shows now the shows are something that's really cool especially if you're a big harry potter fan you don't want to miss some of these shows now if we're going into the uh universal studios in florida um we have the diagon alley which is in the universal studios part of the park there's two shows there that you can watch there is the tales of beetle and bard where they tell the story of the of the Deathly Hallows and such. So that's the one that you have to watch. And as well as another show with Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees. So those are two shows in Universal Studios in the Diagon Alley area that you need to watch. Very good shows. And then the other two shows are going to be in Islands of Adventure, which is going to take you over to the Hogsmeade section. And there's two shows that uh, if you're a diehard Hogwarts fan and, and Harry Potter fan, obviously, because you are here, there's two shows that you got to watch there. And that is the Frog Choir, uh, from our Hogwarts uh, students and then also the Tri-Wizard uh, Spirit Rally which is another show that takes place there where we see bow battens and such and uh, it's it, I'm gonna tell you right now it's, it's it's actually a good spirit rally like it gets you pumped up you get to see other wizards from the other wizarding schools so definitely number four catch the shows if you can uh, definitely worth a watch and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy on the number three all right, guys, now we're going into number three. Now, this one's going to have several things into one, and it's going to be, we're going to kind of talk about it. So when it comes to number three for the top five, what to do in the Wizarding World, one is, for part three is, it's it's cool. it's a lot. It's a lot to cover, but this is what we're going to do. So one, you need to get a butterbeer. Butterbeer is absolutely delicious, and if there's one thing from watching the Harry Potter movies is that I have been craving a butterbeer for a very, very long time. And my first time going to the Wizarding World, that was exactly the first thing that I did was to get a butterbeer and uh, I did get frozen which there are three ways you can get it you can get it hot regular or frozen and you can even get it uh, in an ice cream like soft serve form over at Florian Fortescue's uh, ice cream parlor but butterbeer we're going to include because you can get it into any of these uh, places that I'm going to mention but that's going to be the food number three is the food the butterbeer we're going to do that beer uh, butterbeer and the food now there are plenty of different places that you can go out and eat uh, while you're at the Wizarding World you have Hogshead you have uh, the three broomsticks and the leaky cauldron I mean there's just so many places you can go eat right so one is getting a butterbeer but we're going to double that with one of the places to eat while you're at the Wizarding World now this one was kind of hard and you know this is where where as number three we're just going to put it all into one but there's three places that i recommend we have the three broomsticks of course the leaky cauldron and hogshead now me personally i think hogshead would be a good place to you know have a nice ice cold butter beer and just chill out but uh when it comes to like dining and stuff like that whether it's breakfast lunch or dinner um that would be up to you guys on where you want to eat whether the three broomsticks or the leaky cauldron both of them are equally as good 
and uh, that's just something that you guys will have to depend on what you guys want to do for that day but I will tell you guys if you plan on eating breakfast at the three broomsticks which is very popular uh, make sure you either get the early admission or uh, you know at some point you can get over there and try to make a re reservation or just to, you know get in line because I know sometimes early in the morning the breakfast at the three broomsticks that line could get pretty long so uh, I would definitely take if that's something you want to do is breakfast to get your day going uh, definitely get early admission so that way you'll be able to eat at the three broomsticks uh, leaky cauldron same way and then also hogshead as well but that's going to be number three you guys is going to be the food the dining slash the butterbeer definitely get you a butterbeer i think if you're gonna get anything out of number three get a butterbeer it is just absolutely delicious and i'm glad that i was able to finally grab me some butterbeer so there you go number three moving on to number two all right young witches and wizards now we are on number two and that's going to be olivander's wand shop now there are plenty of things to do at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Everything from the Weasleys, Wizard Wheezies, over to Honey Dukes, Gringotts More, uh, Money Exchange, Borgen and Burks. Uh, there's just so many you could do, right? But we're talking about Ollivander's Wand Shop. And now this is something that if it's your first time going to the Wizarding World, you know, I recommend doing. You could do it at any time. But it's an experience that as a young witch or wizard that you're going to enjoy because it's somewhat of a mini show uh, where you go to Ollivander's and one lucky witch or wizard is selected to go up to the counter and to look for their own personal wand. And this is absolutely crazy because that wand that chooses you is the one that you can have the option to purchase if you so do so. And uh, it is just, it's an awesome experience. You do just like you do in uh, the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone, whichever book name you go by but uh you know you go up there you, you flick the wand and and just everything gets destroyed it's it's pretty cool it's a nice little experience to where you can pick your wand um but it's nonetheless you know every witcher wizard going into the wizarding world for the first time um i highly recommend going and trying to get your wand picked out trying to get selected to get your wand picked out and uh, go shopping for your wand and there's also interactive wands that you can buy and you can actually go throughout the wizarding world doing spells and, and causing things to happen which is really awesome so number two olivander's wand shop and moving on to number one all right guys so now we are here we are finally at number one and that is gonna be the nighttime lights at hogwarts castle now this one's an actually a split one because you have the nighttime lights at hogwarts castle and you also have the dark arts at hogwarts castle now when you're going to the wizarding world this is my number one as a must do when you go to the wizarding world there's tons of things we didn't cover as far as rides and things like that but these are my top five and i had to go with number one you have to see the lights at the hogwarts castle there's nothing more beautiful and just amazing when we're seeing all those lights and like the pictures and everything the projections that they put onto the castle is just beautiful uh so you definitely want to do that Ch check out the nighttime lights at hogwarts castle and then also check out the dark dark arts at hogwarts as well now me i'm, I'm a slytherin myself so i kind of prefer the dark arts at, at hogwarts but uh nonetheless both shows are both uh entertainment things at the castle are just worth your time and it, they're a must see it really is i, I remember walking and seeing hogwarts for the first time at Universal and it was it was just beautiful I wanted to cry it was it was just awesome for for me being a Harry Potter fan to be there and to see Hogwarts not only that but to see it lit up and and the projections on the castle with you know the music and and sounds from the movie it just it really hits home and you know, Hogwarts is, is home to all of us right we all love Hogwarts so number one guys definitely the lights at Hogwarts Castle whether it's dark arts or the nighttime lights must watch and uh yeah it's a magical time definitely got to check it out all right guys so there you have it those are my top five things to do at the wizarding world of harry potter at universal studios orlando and like i said there's so much more that you guys can do there it was really hard for me to narrow it down from places to eat shows to see i mean we they even have the night bus over in the london area by king's cross that you can go visit and take a look at the night bus but there's just so much to do at the wizarding world it was really hard for me to narrow it down to just five things but i think if there was just five things other than rides that you can do it would definitely be the shows the food and everything that we announced in this video there's so much to do um it, it's a great experience if you haven't experienced the wizarding world of harry potter at universal studios you have to go experience it if you're a harry potter fan 
if you're a witch or you're a wizard, you definitely need to go over there. Or even if you're a muggle, you can go if you're a muggle too. But it is awesome to be at Universal Studios. It's awesome to be at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I mean, everybody's walking around in their robes, their house robes, and just doing spells throughout the throughout the Wizarding World. It's just absolutely amazing. And uh, let me know in the comments, guys, what else would you like to see? Would you like to see more videos on what to do at the Wizarding World and things like that? Let me know in the comments down below. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and consider becoming a member of the channel, just like the awesome people you're going to see at the end of the video. Hopefully this has helped you guys kind of make a decision and what to do when you're at the wizarding world uh, obviously the longer you stay the more that you're able to do but if you have to narrow it down to one or two days um, I think that's these are some of the top fives that you have to do while you're there at least if you're exclusively going for the wizarding world you can knock out those five things and then go ahead and ride the rides which are just as amazing as the experience out through the wizarding world as well so thank you guys for watching i appreciate each and every one of you be the strange you wish to see in this world and i will see you guys in the next video be safe see you later